All right, welcome back. We're wrapping it up. This is the WTF. What the facts? And every day I exaggerate, I procrastinate, I do all kinds of things, but I, I make mistakes. And uh, to show our journalistic integrity, Frank breaks down any mistakes I made in the final segment. Hey, Frankie. Uh, well, hello, John. Obviously, the first one I'm going to mention should be obvious, which is your sort of bizarre recantation <laughs> of the incident in Central Park, uh, where I I'm still trying to figure out your version of events before Jeffrey uh, before Jeffrey straightened you out Save there. Save um, me. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, but, and I must say, I don't understand. Why wouldn't you familiarize yourself with uh, the story a little bit before I did. talking about I it on did. TV? I did. I, I breezed and through I it, and that's how, you know, uh, uh, this thing right here, was like half full in the beginning of the show. So as we, well, I see, you know, I can't see what you're holding up, but okay. Uh, well, take... it's a it's a medium sized bottle of uh, bullet rye. Ah, I see. So you I know, I, I read it. I you know, I, I had the main characters down. I just had the uh, antagonist and protagonist uh, confused. Perhaps that also explains why <laughs> you referred to New York's governor Andrew Cuomo as Mario Cuomo. Uh, Mario Cuomo <laughs> has, of course, not been governor for the, for, of the state of New York for about 25 and a half years. Yeah, so I you're know. a little I, bit I, behind. I, get, I lump them all in. The, all, I lump in all the Cuomos. This, it's like a, uh, you know, uh, uh, Curtis says it all the time. Curtis Slewer from 77 WABC Radio says, King Cuomo the third. It's, it's, it is like a patriarchy. You know, well, that's right. Well, he actually says King Cuomo the the second, second, but but uh, th that's okay. Uh, you did bring in. You were sporting enough to bring over a bottle of uh, a beautiful bullet bottle of bullet for our post production meeting on Friday. So I can't be too uh, I can't be too harsh on you today. Um, but a couple of stories. Know where that came from? If you're not going to be oh, harsh boy. on me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, a couple of stories we're following, uh, and I know the fans out there who are real big fans of uh, of Time Out with Nico Romano, which people have just been clamoring for, Without even though doubt. it got Without us canceled doubt. from our last network. <laughs> um, New Jersey Governor, <laughs> it's it. New Jersey Governor Phil Murphy says <laughs> pro sports teams can resume practices and games once their leagues say it's okay in the state of New Jersey. So the governor added that his administration has been cl in close contact with both the NHL and the NFL as steps are taken towards keeping players, coaches, and team executives safe. Recently, the NHL moved into phase two of their restart plan, which includes voluntary small group workouts. So that's good news. Frank, you usually keep me in line on this stuff. So let me just mm -hmm. ask you something. Who is more susceptible to the coronavirus, children between the ages of 10 and 20 or adult males between the age of 25 and 35? Who's more so, susceptible? John, um, as you may have forgotten, I actually am not a doctor, am not no, an epidemiologist, no, 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 no. have no I background I'm, I'm asking you just in medicine off, whatsoever. Just off the uh, compendium of information that you digest every day. Yeah. Um, According to government stats, I would think have you seen I would any think of them? The, I would think the older men are likely more susceptible. And we saw our, our friend Patrick Ewing, well, not our friend, but the guy we've always been a fan of, Patrick Ewing, uh, recently released from the hospital after his battle with the coronavirus. So I would assume it's the older men. It still seems relatively rare in children. Okay. So if professional sports teams can get on the same size baseball field, why wouldn't Little League children be allowed to get on the same side field? Why do they want to keep the kids locked in the house? You know, you got me, John. If only there was somebody proposing bringing back Little Leagues. I mean, that would be no, a real I, I, maybe, champion. Maybe I'm, you know, tilting at windmills. You know, I've always been uh, Sancho Panza. I've never been Don Quixote. But, you know, maybe, maybe this is the moment where I'm fighting for something that I really believe in. I've faked so many causes over the years. Maybe it's a good one to take up. Yeah, uh, I, I agree with you. Uh, I yeah. couldn't agree. I couldn't agree with you more. I think it would be a nice thing. I mean, when I uh, when I ran for office years ago, um, I love animals, and you know, I'm 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 okay with animals and dogs, and I know how to handle them. But uh, I'm not the biggest animal lover on the planet. But uh, the people for humane treatment of animals um, in New York or the New York City New York Animal League or something. 
um, was against horse-drawn carriages, and I gratuitously took up that as one of my causes, which I hadn't cared about in years, to be honest with you, because I knew there was a good, healthy base of voters there, and it was a good cause. Um, but, you know, you even counseled me then that I shouldn't be faking um, a real advocacy. So maybe Little League is good for me because it's real. I agree. I, I, I don't think that that uh, is your craziest cause ever. I mean, I'm all for Little League. <laughs> and especially, you know, in our post-production, in our six-hour post-production meeting on Friday, you detailed your Little League reopening plans. And uh, you indicated that it would be a coachless Little League, That's which right. I'm all, all in favor of, actually. Here's the, here's the deal, okay? And this takes, it, this, the, this takes it out of local. This takes it national, okay? The, I've been a Little League coach. I've been a Little League director. I've been a, 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 all kinds of baseball, football, okay? Youth sports is my life, okay? The biggest problem with youth sports is two things. The fans are out of control. And the coaches are even more out of control. And I am one of the most guilty of being out of control as a coach. So we, the pandemic could solve a major systemic problem for Little League and youth baseball. No parents, no coaches. The coaches can sit in the car and they can text one kid on the team in between innings. But during the game... No coaching. And let the kids run the game. They'll probably have a heck of a lot more fun, better games, one umpire, and everybody's good. I don't think that's horrible, Frank. I, I, I think it's a good idea, actually. I, I, would, uh, I think a lot of parents, a lot of kids, most important, would really enjoy that. All right. Well, that's uh, about all we got. We're counting down our last minute of the f this first day of the week. I almost called it a Money Monday earlier, but then uh, my mom reminded me it's a terrific Tuesday. So it does feel like Monday. Everyone thinks it's Monday. Yeah, shortened week. You finally convinced me into taking a day off, and I'm happy we did because we commemorated Memorial Day by not uh, dishonoring them. Thank you, mm. pal. And uh, thank you all for watching. It's always a great day. The more and more people we see on there, lots happening in Staten Island, lots happening in New York and across the country. And uh, Frankie and I are breaking it down for you every single day. We'll be back tomorrow. Same bat time. Same bat channel. More liquid lunch for you. More liquid lunch for me. See you tomorrow.